Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to be doing is installing this lower radiator support to hold the radiator and the AC condenser and all that stuff. We mounting that today. And then uh, what I'm going to do after that is lo lower the car down off the lift, roll it outside, and uh, actually take the wiring harness out of the car so I can put the Hellcat harness in the car. I just test fitted this factory muffler off camera. And it fits pretty good aside from the fact that this mounting bracket is off but I can always take that off and re-weld it onto there. So, but this exhaust is off of a 2013 Challenger 392. And it bolts, you know, the hangers are all the same. So, aside from this one bracket, that's basically it. But let me get to it. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. This is a complete pain in the ass. This is taking me over an hour so far. I finally got all the wires out of the firewall here, which consisted of all these. These are all going through the firewall. Those, those, those. This is for the gas pedal. I just tied a tether on it so I could pull that one back through. These wires here I got out. This is a single big green connector with like, one, two, three, three, six, nine, ten, fourteen wires going through that one connector. This is for the brake pedal. Three wires, I have to extend that. And in the new box, I forgot where I put it. There's not one big green connector anymore. There's two small gray ones. This is all, this piece goes directly to the body harness. So I'm hoping that when I get the body harness, those two smaller connectors, where did I put the box? Uh, so those two smaller connectors will, here it is, um, go to the actual body harness off the charger when I get it. And then this here, the difference is this right here. So instead of having, this one goes to the brake pedal, the three wires. Instead of having one big green one, you have these two small gray ones. Instead of that one big one there. This one's exactly the same for the brake pedal. All I gotta do is make it longer. But as far as this, you know, I think it's gonna go to the body harness, I hope. Otherwise, we got some really intricate custom wiring ahead of us. So I'm gonna pull it out right now. What I did was, I only filmed the passenger side. I got really involved into this. I tied a tether onto here so that when I pull it through, it'll just pull the wire. So I can pull the new one back through. So I don't feel like fishing behind the dashboard to get the wire out. So right now the entire wire harness is coming out of the car. All this is done. All the connectors on this side, we're like exactly the same. This goes to the body control module, body control module. I'm not exactly sure, but it goes to the body control module. These are all like very similar plugs and stuff. So I'm gonna pull this through now. Let's see here. That's why I tied that green wire on there so I can pull it back through later because I don't feel like fishing behind this thing. Let's see here. This is tight. It's like really jammed in here. Pretty good. I don't know. All right, let me get it out. I'll get back to you. All right, I finally pulled it through. There was an extra wire attached on here somehow, which was connected similar to that plug. This plug goes to the gas pedal. The six wire plug. So now the wiring harness is completely out of the car. Make sure I'm not running out of string because, or wire rather, because <laughs> that'd be, uh, counterproductive. I got a lot left. All right. All right. So now this wiring harness is completely off the car. 
I'm gonna try and to install the new Hellcat harness now. So, all right. So I'm gonna compare them on the ground here and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, I'm trying to explain this the best I can. The first harness is the old 300 harness, which is similar to the Hellcat harness, which is back here. This main section here is like all the same. Like all these plugs are the same. Like that one's good, that one's, you get the white and the tan. Let's see here. This one's the same as that. That white connector thing's gotta go on here, it broke off. So those two, those two are the same. Then you come down to these, these three, there was a body control module. The white, the black, and that one. They're all here, one, two, three. Then you have the harness that goes to the gas pedal, which it comes off of that spot that goes into the firewall. And I have a black and a white. When I took this out of the car, the white was not being used. It was like tied up on the dash, so. And then over here on the Hellcat one, we don't have the white connector. We just have a single connector there. So that's one difference. The headlight connectors are different. I gotta figure it out one day how I'm gonna wire the headlights. Let's do some custom wiring with the headlights. Where's the headlight connector here? Uh, it's over here somewhere. I'll find it. Oh, it's over here. This is the Hellcat connector, which goes to the actual headlight in the Hellcat. This chart, this wiring harness is from a Challenger. This is for like the breeze through, like lights on the Challenger that light up, that little plug, so I'm not using that. This is like rectangular. The one on the uh, 300 was like this style. So somehow I have to count the number of wires in here, the numbers of wires in there, and get like a test light and de-pin this plug and put it on there somehow to make it work. Let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight. How many does one have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's something to figure out in the long run. This goes to the ABS, that has it over there. Uh, what else? Oh, for the um, interior harness, on the 300, it had this one plug that went to the brake pedal right here. And this one went to the body harness, the green. So there's only two plugs here. On this one, you'll notice the size of this grommet too. It's really, really round and big. And on this one, the grommet is smaller and it has three plugs. These two plugs are exactly the same for the brake pedal. And instead of having one green plug like this, the Hellcat has, harness has these two little ones. So I'm hoping that just goes to like the body harness and like makes it different somehow, something like that. But there's a lot of hurdles to jump through, you know, doing something custom like this. So what I'm gonna do now is lightly just sit in the car and uh, you know, just see how it looks, get it in place, just move on from there. I got the wiring harness mostly installed. Just gotta find out how to route a couple more wires, like more specifically, make a couple phone calls, get a couple diagrams. And uh, everything went in smooth, fuse boxes in. I gotta do a little more tidying up. But everything was like, it went in where it's supposed to go. So, and I finished up with the interior as well. I took all the harness out and I didn't butt anything back up yet because still, I gotta do a couple more things. Got the uh, Hellcat pe gas pedal in there. Little things, we're getting there. So, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for now and then uh, be back in a couple minutes. Hey guys, it's a couple days later and uh, 
got some fuel related issues to work with today. I went and picked up this gas tank from Massachusetts the other day and uh, it's the entire tank. But all I really needed was a secondary pump and this line that goes to the steel fuel rail we have. So today what I work on doing is removing this secondary pump and I have that part off already. I have the fuel pump here. The tank, there's really nothing else I need on it. So what I'm gonna do now is lower down the old fuel tank and lower the car down, lower the fuel tank down and remove the secondary pump and just put all the Hellcat parts into this fuel tank and maybe drop the tank down a little bit so that I can get to this smaller diameter to swap out the larger diameter feed hose. And after we're done with that, we might even mount the actual steel line to the bottom of the car and go up to the frame rail up front and uh, just see how it goes. But that's the game plan for right now. Once uh, once you lower the tank, you'll be able to get access to get all access that to it. from inside the car? From inside the car. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to work on now and uh, see how it goes. All right, Keith? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I just dropped the tank down and it fell rather quickly, so I think that should be plenty <laughs> just to get the uh, hose out of there. I More was, than enough room. I was a little nervous there for a second. I thought it might uh, go a little farther, but... Well, the back ends of the straps are still on and they're molded steel, so the tank's not going to fall out, so... Yeah. I'm going to move on to now, just climb up in the car, lower it down, and, you know... Switch out some switch parts. Switch out some parts. So we got this side out. May I have that small light there? You Thank you, Search. And uh, still a little more gas in there than we thought, but we can live with it. Richie's just finishing up getting this side out. The and, crossover uh, lines go all the way across, obviously. Yeah, so you just gotta drag that out. Crossover lines. And then we'll uh, we'll put the new one in. That's it. As it comes out, the new ones go in the exact same way that the old ones came out. I'm draining some gas out of here back into the tank. These lines are full of gas. I'm just dumping it back into the tank. What are you cheap? You don't want to fill it up when you get this no, stuff back together? No, I'm running on. You use it, I think, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so this is the. Uh, come around the back, Pete. This was the line that goes exactly like this. It just goes right to the other side. Just sits in there. So, but now I'm gonna remove that one out of that tank, put the Hellcat pump in, and you can see the tips of the ones in here, see? So, that's what we gotta replace these with. We're good to go. But this was the old crossover pump, the old line that was on here. And basically it. All right, let's keep going. All right, now I don't have the proper removal tool for the actual like ring. So what I, what I do is I just get a hammer. I just knock the ring loose, like so. Take the ring off, the fuel sender, the secondary fuel pump rather. So up here, you gotta twist it I guess like that. These two lines come out. And there we go. And that goes onto the fuel cat, the Hellcat pump. Just like that. Let's snake it through and put I it on. I gotta out. put new uh, locks on here. Oh, it needs the white new locks. Now you look at this white lock here. I got that one. I bought, I bought new ones. I'll use new ones. I'll put the white lock back on there. Snake that through. And the fuel system's getting there. So let's get to it. Alright guys, what we're doing now is putting the fuel pump in the car, the Hellcat fuel pump. And I got the return line on already. Then what you do is you just take this main feed line here, you slide it over the main thing like that there. Got that. And you take your brand new clip. And you pay five dollars a piece for these things at AutoZone. And uh push that on. I think that's it. Hmm. Just till it snaps. Just till it snaps. I think we have it. In place I just, there. Yeah, I just heard it snap. It doesn't feel like it's a hundred percent of the way in, Keith. No, no that's. I think you. I, I can see it from this side. I think you're good. All right, let's go to the other side there. All right, guys, we got the fuel pumps in both sides. They're locked down. Everything's good to go. What we're gonna work on now is putting the uh, Hellcat feed line in that goes from the piece we replaced back here that gave us a problem that time. That's gonna go from there all the way up to the frame rail. And I'm missing one more hose. I'm missing the hose that goes from the end of this line to. And this line to the fuel rail. I have that in order, on order right now at the, at the uh, dealer. So we're gonna try mounting this now and put you on time lapse and give you a pretty good perspective of what we're doing here.
All right, guys, the fuel line's installed. We got, rid of, we got that all done. We're missing the line that goes from the fuel rail line down there. You can barely see it behind that hose. That goes to the actual fuel rail for the car right there. That's on order. That should be here next week. So now what we're doing is we put this cabin air filter back in. Now we're gonna try and mount the ECU on the bracket that goes across. And um, I'd like to even try to Give it a crank today, Keith. What do you think? That would be absolutely awesome. I'm you know, really excited to hear I that. I wouldn't expect it here to start, obviously, but... No, you know. we don't have uh, any fuel. <laughs> we don't know if it'll start or we'll try and crank it for fun. That's all. So Yeah. But now we're going to continue doing is Take that Keith up there. We're going to put this bracket back in. That goes across the engine bay like this. Like that. Somehow. It's upside down. I think. Oh, yeah, not yeah. right side up. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> what we're gonna try to do now is put that back in and see how far we can get. And uh, we'll check back in once we get that squared away. guys I just got done I got the AC uh, line here installed so I'll plug that ready to go I'm missing another line or two as usual to order more parts for that and then um, I got the crossbar on it was all the way across and I mounted the ECU up to it and plugged it in you know just so I have it you know and then um, what I'm gonna move on to now is using these nut serfs I got the other day and I'm gonna try to Get this uh, intercooler pump squared away over here and try to put those on next and uh, get that mounted today. But it's coming along. So, but I'll get back to you guys in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. I got the uh, AC thing mounted up in front of the car there. I'm missing a couple more lines so I can order them. What I'm moving on to now is I just uh, mounted this bracket, which is this is the bracket that holds the uh, cooler in place, not the cooler, the, um, the water pump for the intercooler. This holds that in place. So what I'm trying to do now is try to bolt it on here. And uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try to do it one hand. And then um, I'm gonna bolt this in place now. So that'll be in place now. And the wiring I have behind there all squared away from the Hellcat harness. I get two more nuts and like I said the uh, the wiring is right here just to plug in make the pump work. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's kind of hard to get to. It's right back here. I'm gonna plug that in next and then um, I'm gonna move on to installing the radiator like mocking it up and see how it makes sure everything fits well. Try to figure out which way the horns get wired stuff like that but Moving along here, you know, I'm trying to clean things up as I go too, wipe them off, make it look nice. So, all right, we're gonna move on to that now and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. All right, guys, got the intercooler pump installed. Everything's solid, ready to go. I plugged in the, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I plugged in the electrical connection for it, so that's good. Got the hose on the back, that's good. So what I'm gonna move on to now is uh, like test fitting the radiator, stuff like that. Just put it in, see how it looks. But um, the car's really coming together now, it really is. But like I said, there's not much more to do for today. So I'm gonna just try and test fit the radiator, see how that fits, and I'll get right back to you.
All right, guys, I'm back. I got the whole uh, front end together, the radiator, all that good stuff. I gotta find out how the horn wiring goes and where it clips into and so on and so forth. Got the power, the uh, transmission lines set in there. Just, you know, just basically test fitting everything. The AC lines here, I'm missing two more AC lines. One more, I'm not sure. I think two more. Oh yeah, and the second one for down here. I'm missing two more AC lines. And um, the pump's in, the radiator's in, everything's in. I put the upper radiator hose on just to make sure it has, everything has you know has space, and it's as close as you want to get it. I didn't put the um, lower radiator pipe together because, like I said in the previous video, I'm missing a piece that goes on here. It broke off that little piece, so I had to order a new hose. I don't think I don't think they'll let you order just that middle part. I doubt it. So let's we'll see what's gonna happen with that. But uh, it's coming together, you know, rather quickly. Um, I put the, this dress up piece back on to see how it looks, cleaned it up. I went and picked up a OEM air box from a guy nearby. So I got that. What's interesting is that the factory air box off the V6 would have fit just fine. Just the lid is different. On the V6, the lid, this is like a smaller diameter of this hole and it has a nipple here for um, a tube for the V6 engine. But the air boxes are almost identical if you look at them. There's all the same amount of bolt holes and clips, everything bolts up the same way. But um, the bottom half of the factory air box is the same exact thing as the Hellcat one. You know, it's the same design, everything else. This is the difference between, I got this air box from a Challenger. That's why the hole's there for the headlight, which I don't have. I might run this box with the extra hole for more air, or I might just use the uh, V6 box, which is the same exact thing. But I haven't decided yet. I might just run that the way it is. And I'm missing a couple sensors. I'm missing the sensor that goes in there and the sensor that sits on top of this thing here. So I gotta get those this week at some time. But right now I'm just test fit the air box and test fit the rest of this stuff, polish it up, maybe even take the straps off, clean up the engine bay a little bit, and I'll get right back to you. Right, guys, I'm back. Got the whole engine bay put together. Put the air box in just to mock it up, see how it looks. Fits fine, as I knew it would. This is the old coolant bottle, and the only difference, the only difference between this coolant bottle and the new one is that on the new one, that hose is going to be on this side over here and going downwards into that lower radiator hose that I mentioned before. So I just put it in there to see how it looks. You know, check it out. I'm missing a couple AC hoses, a couple cooling hoses. I'm still just, you know, mocking things together. I'm not completely done yet. Put the uh, put the covers on, see how they looked. Everything looks great. Got the whole radiator in, AC condenser, power steering, you know, every, you know I'm sorry, not power steering, uh, transmission cooler, and everything's together. So, that's how it looks for now. And then uh, I went and put the exhaust in the car, just to see how it would look. I hung it up in the bottom of the car. And mounted it so I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this exhaust or get like a different exhaust but this is what I have for the time being so that's what I'm gonna use what I'm gonna do now is put the battery in the trunk and just see if the car cranks you know just for just for fun you know see if it works or not so I'm gonna do that now and uh, I'll come back to you once I get it going all right guys I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it cranks I just plug the battery in See what's gonna happen here. Let's see, we got lights on, that's good. I like it squeeze in here. Oh, Jesus. Let me lower the lift down. Hang on a second. 
Can't open the door because the lift's hitting the arm. Now, let's see. All right. That's low enough, I hope. Probably not. <laughs> Might be able to squeeze in here if I really try. There we go. Now, let's see here. The old computer. Put that over there. Put the key up there. Brake pedal pushed in. Start button. There we go. Lights are on. Vehicle not in park. Oh. Right here. Off. So this thing doesn't think the car is in park. All right. Service transmission, continue in D. It has no idea until you reach a desired looking. Okay. Well, this thing's gonna work. Nope, no good. Tire part. Every light that could possibly be on is on. <laughs> so. All right, guys, I got all these things unplugged, so well, we gave it a shot. Can't say we didn't try. All right, let me unplug the battery again. Leave it unplugged to her. Completely done, but that's gonna be it for today, guys. Be sure to share with your friends and uh, leave a comment below. We'll catch you guys next week.